We're up to another part of our conversation with drumming great John J.R. Robinson. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. J.R., who are your top five drummers? Oh, boy. Never been asked before, I'm sure. But, all right. Buddy Rich, Billy Cobham, Tony Williams, Ed Sof, and Alan Dawson. And I had to do that. What do you mean you had to do that? They were such influences in my life, you know. So if that's, in, if that's true then they must be up there. You know, in my opinion, those were the two greatest drum teachers of all time. Ed, still, you know, still viable down in Denton, even though he's retired, uh, is uh, just one hell of a drum teacher. I don't think anybody ever taught drums better than Ed. And Ed, Ed has a, a roster of 25 great drummers under his belt. But yeah, those, those are probably my, I mean, I could, you know, I could go into Ed Thigpen, I could go into Philly Joe Jones, who was honorable. I could go into... Sonny Payne, to me, could be in that top five list because nobody swung harder than Sonny Payne. If you want to go old days, you can go Zooty Singleton. You could go... Uh, oh, the Chick drummers are going to love this. Chick Webb. You know, these were cats that led bands that had the balls to work with the stupid white agents that would screw them, you know. History of even allowing drums into a club is, is great. You know, thank God that happened because banjo sucks. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Benny was with you in Berkeley, right? Benny was a year before me and Steve Smith a year after me. And matter of fact, there, there is a, a potential rumor, not so modern drummer magazine. Okay. I'm gonna, it's a magazine out of the Bay Area. I, I think I'm doing a feature on my time in Boston. It's, it's really good. So that'll tie into those two gentlemen and a few more. What is it about drummers where I, I run into so many, maybe I've got hyper-focus and it's like when you're pregnant, you notice pregnant women. Why is it there's so much, seems to be more respect between drummers than I noticed for any other instrument? There's always like, I mean, what do you mean J.R. Robinson's friends with Jeff Beccaro? How could that be? You know, or like, what is it? What, are you guys wired different? Uh, definitely. I mean, Jeff was the nicest guy. When I first moved to town in, in 78, I get a phone call two weeks later saying, hey, do you want to share a gig at the Hollywood Bowl? And I'm going, oh, I wasn't ready for that. And plus, I wasn't a share fan. You know, a lot of people might go, oh, how could you not be? I, well, I wasn't. Well, you either like something or you don't, right? You know. I, I just didn't. And I have played with her since, and I've actually had dinner with her. So it's all cool. But I chose not to do that recommendation. And Jeff's going, cool, man, it's all cool. You know, I just got kind of double booked, and I just figured you may want to do it. But that didn't stop our connection. So, you know, we had a lot of similarities and a lot of differences, but it, we never let the egos get in the way. Now, I can definitely guarantee you that there are drummers in the business that are amazingly competitive. You know, certain people have to have their mugs out there maybe more than others. Uh, you know, I'm starting to learn about YouTube channel. That's how slow I am. I just launched my YouTube channel last night. So we're, I know, hello, what's it, 20 years? <laughs> but what we're going to do is I'm going to start a very slow process and uh, communication and uh, education. You know, this is going to be like a 15-part series. Oh, perfect. And every time I will say, check out is, you know, obviously, because I would, you're like, like the freaking natural for this. Well, I mean, I, you know, I had that show, remember we talked about online a couple of years ago, uh, and maybe I had it before it was fashionably hip to have the show. I had a show called Vinyl Night. You know, it was no money and four days of research. You know, uh, eventually, we'll, you know, we'll figure out what to do with that content. But uh, there, unfortunately, it wasn't video like this. So, And I'm in the process also of, uh, I mean, not to, you know, cloud that question you had, but, you know, most of us drummers get along. And I think that's the thing. But I'm in the process of maybe adding video to the drum set, which is something I never thought of. I mean, you know, sure, I got a, I got a Zoom camera endorsement, and I can put a Zoom camera on me, uh, not this Zoom, and record it. But, you know, I'm thinking of maybe taking it to another level because it seems like COVID's not going anywhere. And 2021 could also be locked down. And if that's the case, and, you know, one of my bosses now just got his wife pregnant. So, <laughs> David Foster, so, you know, if it, with Kat, and I don't know, congrats, David, means another bus up in front of our bus, a baby bus. So, uh, I don't know uh, what's going on, because we had to, you know, this year we turned down 60 dates, 
And next year we've got a bunch made up, but uh, I, you know we don't know what's going to happen. But so it's it's just about giving people an opportunity to connect should they want to. You know, if I can be of help in some aspect, you know, I'm I'm going to be around for that. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Mm-hmm.